Welcome back to Asia Tonight. Pakistan has the fifth biggest population in the world, nearly a quarter of a billion. But many of the nation's most educated people are moving abroad in hopes for a better life elsewhere. Hiro Mustafa finds out why. Pakistan is a vibrant, young country. Most of its population is under 30. Its culture is rich. The country is not. Its economy is in trouble. For young Pakistanis, the future doesn't look bright. Jobs are scarce. The jobless rate has risen sharply, according to the International Monetary Fund, from 6% two years ago to 8.5% last year. 28-year-old Suleiman Asghar is luckier than most. He owns a shop, but he too has been frustrated by setbacks in his business. He's decided to leave Pakistan. He has nine mouths to feed, but he says he's struggling to do that with what he earns in a month. Pakistan, if I get a job, I'll get a job in the 40-50 range. I don't know if I'm going to go to my home. So, I thought I'd leave Pakistan and go to any country. Inflation last year was almost 30 percent. Pakistan's economy didn't grow. It shrank. Even here in the capital, Islamabad, one of the richest areas of the country, people are waiting for work. The challenge of rising unemployment, lack of jobs and low wages has pushed many to abandon hope. And they are ready to risk everything by leaving. More than 800,000 Pakistanis have left the country every year for the last two years. That's almost three times more than in 2021. Many are unskilled and will accept manual work of any kind. But some of the brightest in Pakistan want out. When they leave, most Pakistanis head to the Middle East, particularly Saudi Arabia. While in Europe, Romania has welcomed waves of unskilled labor. And that's where 25-year-old Adil Sabil went with dreams of a better life. But his dreams were shattered the moment he reached Romania's main airport. He was deported for incomplete paperwork. Now, back with his friends, starting fresh, he is once again setting out in search of a new job. कि एक अच्छी इनकम जनरेट कर सकें बार जो कि सबको पता ही है इधर के यहाँ इधर डेली वेजेस उस तरह नहीं है कि बंदा अपना घर चला सके या अपने अपना फ्यूचर सिक्योर कर सके हम तो अभी इस एजेस में कि कुछ ही अरसे में हमें अपना घर भी बनाना है शादी भी करनी है तो उस लिहाज से हमें नहीं लगता कि हम इधर सरवाइव कर सकेंगे पाकिस्तान में एनालिस्ट्स से द गवर्नमेंट हैज टू बी मोर कंसर्न्ड about retaining workers in the country and speed up its efforts to do so. It should not be the level of worrying, it should be a level of panicking right now. But the country's leaders see Pakistan's brain drain not as a loss, but an asset. An advisor to the Prime Minister told CNA that Pakistani immigrants abroad are a strength for the nation because they send money back and that helps the economy. But he concedes the country's low economic growth is a problem. Definitely, uh, you know, the growth rate in Pakistan is below the growth rate of population increase. So this is an alarming factor. So definitely, I've agreed and accepted the fact that we're going through a phase where we are in a low growth phase. And this is a major concern of the government. Pakistan is experiencing an exodus. Whether it continues will depend on whether Suleiman, Adil and countless other Pakistanis believe the economic crisis will improve or whether their children will also decide one day to move away. Hiram Safa, CNA, Islamabad.